Zwom Bimo. Hey everyone and welcome to another Bimo Creative Fact About Fiction video. So this one is about Mecha Godzilla. Mecha Godzilla is a robot or cybernetic titan built to emulate Godzilla for the sole purpose of destroying him but has become one of Godzilla's most popular and reoccurring foes along with King Ghidorah. To date, there are, or at least have been as far as I can remember, seven distinct versions of Mechagodzilla featured in the franchises. The first version was introduced in 1974 film Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla as a creation from the evil black hole planet 3 aliens designed to destroy Godzilla and conquer Earth. This Mechagodzilla returned in Terror of Mechagodzilla, where it was rebuilt by its alien masters, renamed Mechagodzilla 2, of course, made even more powerful than the original, and fought alongside the monster Titanosaurus. Mechagodzilla was introduced for the High Sea series in the 1993 film Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2. This second version of Mechagodzilla was a weapon built by G-Force. I know some of y'all remember G-Force, right? Which is a military branch of the United Nations uh, to defend mankind from Godzilla and was constructed using technology reverse engineered from the remains of Mecha King Ghidorah. Do you guys remember that? The third version of Mechagodzilla, more commonly known as Kiryu, first appeared in the film Godzilla against Mechagodzilla in 2002. Like the high sea Mechagodzilla, Kiryu was a human-built weapon, this time controlled by the JSDF. Kiryu was unique among all the Mechagodzillas in that it was a cyborg constructed around the skeleton of the first Godzilla that appeared in 1954. Kiryu was, however, susceptible to the first Godzilla's flesh side waking up, making it very hard to control. Kiryu returned in the following film, Godzilla Tokyo SOS, where it again did battle with Godzilla, this time with the assistance of Mothra and her twin Larva, and they still couldn't beat him. A fourth version of Mechagodzilla made a brief appearance in Godzilla Planet of the Monsters and returned in the second film, and the Godzilla anime trilogy. This Mechagodzilla was constructed by uh, humans as well as the Bilu Sa Ludo alien scientists under the United Earth in order to destroy Godzilla Earth because at that time there was also Space Godzilla so they had to separate the two. Unfortunately Mechagodzilla was lost before it could be activated when Godzilla Earth destroyed it and its production facility in uh, Hamamatsu in 2046. However, the machine's head remained intact and kind of like Ultron from the uh, Avenger movies, over the next 20,000 years, the nano metal expanded from that head and built around itself, gradually forming a replica of its developmental facility dubbed Mechagodzilla City. The uh, character also appeared as the main antagonist of the fourth film of Legendary Pictures in Warner Brothers MonsterVerse series, Godzilla vs. Kong in 2021, designed by Apex Cybernetics, and in that movie it looked a lot like a, um, a Transformer, kind of, kind of like a Destructicon or something, but anyway. And uh, it was built. It was built by Apex Cybernetics to overthrow Godzilla as the planet's apex predator. Outside of the Godzilla series, Mechagodzilla made an appearance in that 2018 film adaptation of Ready Player One. I don't know if anybody remembers that, but he was in there too. So there you go. The name Mechagodzilla is pretty straightforward and needs no translating. It comes from the word Mecha, which is derived from the word mechanical added to the front of Godzilla. Mechagodzilla is made of space titanium and loaded with weapons. Each version of Mechagodzilla possesses some form of beam-based weapon, often designed to mimic or counter Godzilla's atomic breath. In Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla, Mechagodzilla fires a yellow beam from its mouth 
and a rainbow colored one called the space beam fired from its eyes. It also has a laser firing apparatus on its backup head, which is a head that pops up out of his chest when his normal head is knocked off, because that happens often in the movies and stuff. Mechagodzilla has a powerful electromagnetic beam called the cross attack beam fired from a shutter in his chest. All the Mechagodzillas, except the version in the uh, Godzilla anime trilogy, have missiles and rockets um, in their fingers and all over their bodies in general. Most versions of Mechagodzilla fly or use jets to either increase the running speed or the speed of its punches or kicks and are programmed with uh, fighting skills to tap or they tap into the flesh brain of the uh, system for rage combat and use drills, saws, knives, and other melee weapons to try to take down Godzilla and it just never works out. So, what do you think of Mechagodzilla? Leave a comment below. Anyway, that is going to do it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe to Be More Creative for more fact about fiction videos. Thanks so much. Bye.